Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So we were walking through Costco the other day, and of course, as you know about Costco, you never know what you're gonna find there. And we found something really, really cool, and it was just under $300. So let's get to unboxing and show you what we found. And here she is, guys. This is the Bighorn End Table Nightstand Safe. All right, it is a fire rated safe, electronic keypad with backup keys, as well as a nice, solid, kind of satisfying vault handle right there. You have two locking deadbolts, 40 minute fire rating at 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, open her up here. Nice thick wall, little handgun holder right here. All right, and we'll talk about the inside in a second, but what I want to show you real quick is some of the details on this right here, because it is an awesome buy. So you got right here, you'll see all the details on the safe right there. You'll see how you can set this up. You have a shelving unit that comes with it. Holes, of course, on the bottom that I'll show you in a second to drill into either uh, your subfloor or whatever you're trying to secure this to. You have a nice drawer that is also padded, which is nice. There's all the details in case you're wondering about dimensions, if you won't need this to fit somewhere in specifically. It's nice and heavy, so just know that as well. Definitely a two-person job to move this around. But what's really fascinating about this right here, and I didn't realize because I didn't pay attention closely, this name right here, Rhino Metals. So they make a lot of the Costco safes, and I didn't know that because Costco rebrands their stuff to like Bighorn or Iron or whatever it is. And what was kind of fascinating was when you open this drawer up, if you look in here, you'll see you got the Rhino Metals instructional pamphlet, all right? And it makes Rhino Metals, Ironworks, Kodiak, Bighorn, and Longhorn series safes. Rhino Metals is the one that actually I've seen before advertised with this kind of nightstand setup in this exact configuration, except it doesn't say Bighorn on here. So they made this safe for Costco for that nice price if you're a member at Costco. So these are the kind of finds that really make it really worth that membership at Costco. Um, but let's go ahead and get a little bit closer and we'll talk about what the features are of this little nightstand safe. So you got a nice metal top right here. It's hollow, but it has this nice kind of patina to it, kind of like an ironworks kind of setup. It's all kind of brushed steel, but of course this is definitely a huge upgrade from your typical nightstand you're used to seeing. Nice drawer here. You got these rivets on the outside, nice little aesthetic little piece there. The drawer comes out this way and then continues to move out. So you have a nice large drawer here. Comes with their little instruction manual, which walks you through how to set up the keypad and some of the features of the safe itself. All right, nice solid rollers, padded drawer there. Real nice soft clothes as well. So really good there. Go down here, you got your big horn logo for Costco. You got the fake rivets again. It just looks aesthetically pleasing. You have your keypad right here. It is a six digit code. And it actually starts, I believe, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then under here, you have your battery compartment. It takes a nine volt battery, not included. So we'll grab one of those, show you how this powers up. And then there's also two screws on the bottom, which are emergency use where you can actually unscrew it, take the keys that come with this unit. And if this ever goes down, you can still access everything. Great touch there. Again, nice, big, really nice vault handle right there. Swing it open, you already saw this door. Looks like you have some construction kind of stuff there, but there's no real sharp edges anywhere on this. I mean, it looks really well done, and I just love the look of it. It looks real rustic. Um, inside here, you'll see your long keys we just talked about. Shelving pieces. Shelf padded, both sides. The old uh, dryer gel packs there. You got four holes. All right, little covers, four holes, one in each corner. They're about a pinky's width, all right? And what those holes are for are either for uh, screwing this down into your floor, or if you want, you can actually run some of the thin wires for like a lighting setup. I'm probably gonna get some lighting off Amazon. If I find some I'm gonna get, I'm gonna put a link down below. I've done a Sentinel cabinet before where I did the same lighting with a motion sensor, and those cords are narrow enough where you can run them underneath and out 
to a power outlet and it'll be no problem at all. So that's that and you see the, the shelving is adjustable. It stops right here. All right, so it's right below this drawer. But let me go ahead and grab a couple of things and kind of show you what this might look like and what you can fit in here. So on the inside panel of the door, you will see there's a nice holder for a handgun. Typical placement for a safe like this, but of course it's always a nice convenient spot for it right there. And then you swing all the way open here, you'll see that it fits a CZ Scorpion folded up, MP5, Strybog, whatever you want. It won't fit any kind of like AR pistol unless you have a folding uh, stock or a folding pistol brace or something like that. But you can actually fit three of these lined up like this. Uh, just to give you kind of an idea on the depth because I'm sure the camera doesn't do it justice. And the shelf is set up in the back here. It has a 40 pound weight limit on it. So if you want to put some mags in there, cash, passports, it is a fire safe. So do whatever you want with it. But for 300 bucks, guys, you get an awesome value. And again, it just looks real nice and clean. That shelf does come with a spare set of pegs. Um, or you can always add another shelf if you want to make this a dual shelf system. All right, closing her up here. Nice lock up there. All right, as expected, it comes without a battery. So here's your panel right here. There's two pinch points on the bottom. You just pinch down. And those screws, by the way, are right there as well. This whole keypad comes off when you want to go ahead and use the manual override keys. All right, so you take this little sliding drawer out. And on the top here, you'll see there's a big hole and a small hole. It is for a nine volt battery. So you put the contacts in there like so. Make sure that battery is seated. You get a nice beep there. So now you have the battery in there, you'll hear that beep. And then to open it, it beeps and you hear this kind of grinding noise, which means it's opening up. Turn it and you're back in business, all right? So close it up. She's locked. All right, so as soon as you put the battery in there, it just locks, all right? And now it's not going anywhere. And then to open it, the default is one, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. All right, so you have your existing code. Unlock her. There is no lights on this keypad, by the way, it looks like, so just note that. Have it cracked open just a little bit, and when you want to do a new code from that default code, what you're going to do is hit this star right here six times. All right, then type in your existing code once. Then type in your new six-digit code, whatever it is. Think of something good that you can remember. Once, twice, and then a third time, and then it will unlock the safe, and you'll hear that noise and then you can go ahead and test your code out. And if all else fails, unscrew those screws, take the face plate off, and you got your manual override. But you should be fine, easy to reset. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review on this awesome Costco find. I've seen these kind of floating around the last few months, and of course Costco switches their inventory up all the time, and I cannot find these online. Um, so what I, what I would suggest for you to do is probably check out your local Costco, look around, call around, see if they have any of these in stock. They had a few of them in stock at ours when I went ahead and found this and picked it up. Uh, but of course, being made right by Rhino Metals, kind of rebranded for Costco. This is an awesome deal. It really is for that price point of $300. I think it's like $299.99. Um, I will find that lighting kit that I'm going to install in here. I use them in a couple other safes as well. So I'll get that lighting kit, some motion sensor kit, get it right off Amazon. I'll put the link down below in the description. As always, guys, if you have any questions at all, hit in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Make sure you head and follow us over on Instagram. Like us on Facebook with all the latest and greatest deals on the internet. And I'll see you guys in the next review.